Hey guys, in this chapter we're going to be building a jQuery slider. All right, It's not just an image slider, it's a content slider. As you can see we have uh, some text here as well. This isn't part of the image. Um, it's a separate div with a um, using a background using CSS. All right, And as you can see we have an auto switch option so it just scrolls or fades automatically. And we also have arrows where we can change to go forward and backwards and we have a nice little fade effect all right so the images we're using are 940 pixels by 350 pixels and I've included uh, all the images in the project files and I've, I'm also going to include a, P, a Photoshop PSD file um, that'll look like this basically it's just the, the uh, 950 by 350 pixel image and I have all these layers here with the different colors alright so if you want you can experiment with this maybe uh, change the sizes or whatever you want to do change the image so I'm just going to include that as well alright so let's go ahead and create the project file or files and I'm going to call this just content slider all right, and what I'm going to do is actually bring this, bring all these images over. We have the slide images plus the uh, left and right arrows. All right, so I'm going to bring that whole image folder over. All right, now we're going to create the rest of our files. So we need our main HTML file. Okay, we want a JavaScript folder, of course, and a CSS folder. Okay, so we'll create the CSS file. I'm going to call it style.css. All right, and then in the JavaScript, we want to create our script.js file. And uh, obviously, we will also need jQuery. And feel free to to do what you want, you can go to jQuery.com, download the, the JavaScript file and include it. Um, or you can do what I'm going to do and just use the API, the Google API URL to include it. All right, so let's go ahead and open up, open up index in a browser and also open it in your text editor. And I'm also going to open the CSS file and the JavaScript file. All right, and we'll start off with basic HTML layout. So doc type through the whole project, I'm going to be using HTML5. Okay, I'm not going to use XHTML. All right, uh, tight, no title, head. Title. Let's call this jQuery content slider. Okay, let's go ahead and link our style sheet. And that's in the CSS folder, style.css. Okay, the JavaScript. Now I'm going to include the um, the URL to include jQuery. Okay, so we're getting it from the Google API site. All right, and then we need our body. All right, so let's look at the page. All right, so I want everything to be inside of a container. Um, I believe it's 960 pixels, so let's go ahead and create the container, give it an ID, alright, and inside of the container, first thing we want is an H1, actually let's do a header, just to make it semantic, H1, and I'm just going to say jQuery content slider 
Uh, all right, so that's all we need in the header. Next, we're going to have our previous image. So an image tag, src is image, and I believe it's called arrow left, and that's a PNG file. And we'll put an alt in here as well, and we'll say previous. Okay, so might as well do the right arrow as well, and the content is going to go in between them. All right, let's just make sure those image are being rendered. Images are being rendered. All right, and then in the middle, we're going to have a div. Whoop. A div with the ID of slider. Okay, that'll be our main div. That's going to include all of our slides. All right, so we want to create another div and call it slide uh, whoop, div class equals slide. And I'm also going to set a class of active. Okay, so that's basically how we're going to switch our images. We're going to move around this active class. So the first image, obviously, we want to have the class active, and then we'll make it so when we press, if we click the right arrow, the next, uh, the next slider div will have the class active. All right, so in here, let's close that. And then inside of here, we're going to have another class. And I'm going to call this class slide copy because this is going to be the, the text. Okay, so in the copy, we want an H2. And we'll call this slider1. And then we want a paragraph. And I'm just going to paste in some lorem ipsum. All right, so we have our slide copy, and then directly after the copy, not inside, make sure you get out of that, that div, we want our image. So image, src, this is in the images folder, and called slide1.jpg. Okay. So we want uh, a few of these. Let's see, how many are we doing? Two, four, we'll do five. So I'm going to grab um, from the slide class to its closing div. Okay, and then we'll do one, two, I mean, two, three, four, five. All right, so we want to take active off all of them except the first. All right, and um, let's change the title. This will be slide two. Change this to a two, three, four, five, five. All right. So let's take a look at that. Okay, we just have we have our description and our images, they're just all on top of each other. We have the previous button and then we have the next button. Okay, so that's the HTML. Pretty simple. Uh, I was gonna do the HTML and CSS in different chapters, but um, we'll just keep going here and do the CSS. Alright, so Let's start out by resetting everything. Okay, so we'll use the asterisk, and I'm gonna set a margin zero and a padding zero. Okay, then we'll move to the body. Okay, for the body, let's set a font family of Arial. All right, um, we'll set a font size of 14 pixels. 
and set the color to white. All right, and I'm going to set the background to a dark gray. And give it a line height of 1.6 EM. Okay. You can see that now there's no margin or padding on anything. All right, uh, I spelled height wrong. H E I G H T. Okay, so after the body, let's do some of the root elements. We'll do links. Okay, so links should be white. And text decoration, none. Okay, H1 tag. We're going to align that to the center. All right, and set a margin bottom of 20 pixels. Okay. Actually, let's set a. Actually, never mind. We'll do the container. Let's do the container next. All right. So the container is going to have a width. Let's do a width of 980 pixels, and set a margin top and bottom 40, and then left and right will be auto because we want it pushed to the middle. All right, and then I'm just going to set an overflow. We'll set an overflow of hidden. Okay, so that's our container. Let's make sure that that's working. All right. Next, we want to do our slider ID or slider div, which contains all of the slides. All right, and this we want to do quite a bit too. We're going to set the width to 940. Okay, and then the height. We're setting the width and the height to the same pixels as the images. Okay, so if you're using different dimensions, smaller or bigger, just make sure that you set this to the same dimensions as the actual images and all your images should be the same size alright uh, let's set the position here to relative alright and the overflow you want to set to hidden because you don't want you only want one image shown at a time and so let's just float that to the left okay we're gonna float the arrow icons as well as this slider div. It's at a padding of three pixels and a border, a border of dark gray, solid two pixels. And let's set the border radius. We'll set border radius to five pixels. Okay, so that's the slider. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so you can see now we only see the first image or the first div. And I'm just gonna make sure, I just wanna set the images too as well. So slider image, we just wanna set that to the, the correct width and height. All right, so the, the buttons, let's do those real quick before we do the actual slides. Okay, so we have an ID of previous. So this style will be for both. Okay, so we they both will float left. And they'll both have a margin top of 130 to push them down to the middle of the image. And cursor will be a pointer. Okay, so now we'll do uh, actually, let's set the position as well. Relative. All right. Um, and then let's also set the Z index. I'm going to set it to 100. And then for previous, we just, what we want to do, let's actually take a look at it. 
Uh, oh, we didn't we didn't add the IDs to the to the um, images to the arrows. ID is previous, and this should be next. Okay, so um, I want to bring these in. You can see how they kind of they have the style where it's going to look like it they're over the background image. So we need to move. We just got to give this one a margin right of negative 45, and this a margin left of negative 45. Okay, so previous margin right negative. Okay, we'll do the same thing for next. And next will be margin left. Okay. All right, so that looks good. Now we want to do the actual div. You can see we have the content above it, above the image. We want it inside of it. Okay, so let's do the slide first. Slide, and we just want to set that to, to an absolute position. All right, and then the copy. Is going to be positioned absolute. And I'm going to set, we want it at the bottom, so bottom zero and left zero. And then give it a padding of 20 pixels. Let's see what that does. Um, shoot. Oh, there, it's a class of slide, I'm sorry. This should be a dot. Okay, so it's in the correct place. Now we get to do the background of the copy. So we'll say background. First of all, we'll set the color, which is going to be um, 7F. What is it? 7F, 7F, 7F. And I also want it, I want to set, I want it to have an opacity. Um, so I'm going to set background again. And I'm going to set it to RGBA. And we want it to be dark. So zero. Okay, four zeros and then, I'm sorry, three zeros and then 0 0.5 for the opacity. All right, and that should give it a dark, clear background. All right. So that looks pretty good. Um, the hiding of the um, of all the images, uh, we need to hide all images except the active one, uh, which is the first one. But I'm not going to do that with CSS. We're going to do that with jQuery. All right, so we'll do that uh, as well as the rest of the JavaScript in the next chapter.